I don't got much time. I've got to get this thing working. The diagram says I have to put the red wire here. And solder the blue one here. Come on, work, dang it. I've got to warn myself. I gotta get these antennas right. Just gotta make sure that that one's 45 degrees. Okay, now I need to enter this code. Arc 678. Come on, Aaron, pick it up. Answer it. Hey everyone, it's Aaron here. And today I wanna to show you that awesome RGB glitch effect that you saw in the intro. In Adobe Premiere, it is really easy to do, so let's begin. The very first thing that we need to do is we need to add an effect to our clip. The effect is called Color Balance. The easiest way to find this is to go to Effects up here and type in Balance. And you'll see under Image Control, Color Balance RGB. We want to drag that to our clip. Once we do that, we want to make two copies of our clip. And how to do that, you press Alt and we'll just drag it up and we'll do the same thing again. Now we'll go back to our first clip and now we're going to start making changes to this color balance. What we want to do is we want to separate the color of red, green, and blue. To do that we just go to the first clip here and we'll set the red to zero, the green to zero, and leave the blue at 100%. We'll go to the second clip and we'll set blue to zero and red to zero. And the last one we'll set blue to zero and green to zero. And now what you're left with is red. The reason why this is is because we need to change the blending mode to all these layers to screen. To do that we need to go to opacity and go to blend mode and go to screen. And we'll do that to all three layers. And once we have that then we'll go somewhere in our clip where we want this RGB effect to happen and we'll go to the position scale and click the stopwatch on all our layers and now we can start playing with this effect so we'll just go frame by frame and we can make adjustments and you should start seeing it right away what it's doing and we'll do that to each color here and then we just go forward a frame and we'll move them again and you want to do this for about 10 frames roughly 10 to 15 frames you can do it longer but RGBs are normally generally really fast so you want to try to keep them really short I'll go ahead and skip ahead here so you guys can see what it looks like and now once you get your effect done you want to go to your last frame here and you want to reset the position and scale of each clip to bring it back so the effect doesn't continue on and now what you should have here is a pretty cool effect so we'll go back to the beginning here and just play it and it's that simple now if you don't want to take the time to do this I've actually created a preset for you guys that you can apply to do this really quick let me show you how to do it first uh, just go to the download link below to download it and to bring it into uh, Premiere you just go to effects you right click and you hit import presets you go to where the effect is and open it and install it it will show up under presets under A2 and you will have a blue green and red RGB so let me clear this all out here and show you how this works so now that the clips have been reset, let me show you how easy it is to use this preset. All you have to do is drag and drop each color to its own layer. So I'll do red here, I'll do green here, and I'll do blue here. And all you gotta do is play the clip and it will happen. Now if you want to have it play in a different spot in your clip, all you gotta do is go to the effects here, select position and scale and all you gotta do is move it to where you want to in all your layers and it will play exactly where you want it to so now we changed where it plays so it's pretty cool 
I really hope you enjoy that and enjoy this free preset that I made for you guys. If you like what you see on my channel, it would be really awesome if you hit that like button and even better, hit subscribe and hit the bell to be notified of my future videos. Anyways, I'll see you in the next one.